Hey everybody, it's Coach Steve, and we're going to talk about fat shots. It's a shot nobody wants to hit, but unfortunately it will come at the most inopportune times when you're trying to hit a ball maybe across a lake, and your club digs into the ground just before you get to the ball, and the ball goes about 15 yards and then plops woefully into the water. So one way you can avoid that is to make sure that your center of gravity is always moving forward towards the target. Now, if you're hitting the ground and behind the ball, chances are your center of gravity or is also behind the ball. That is a that is a great predictor of where your the low point of your golf swing is going to be. So you want to make sure that you're transferring your weight and not hanging back. If I hang back, the deep point of my swing is going to be here and I'm probably going to interact with the turf. Okay? So one great way to practice that is a drill called the Gary Player. And the Gary Player is simply swinging forward and taking a step through. It really emphasizes the weight transfer towards the target. Let me just demonstrate that. Okay, I totally flushed that one. As you can see here, the divot came after the ball. So the deep point of the swing was to the left of the ball for a right-handed player. Another possible way to hit the ball fat is to take the club too far from the inside. Taking the club too far inside can look like this. I'm getting the club on too flat of a plane. What also happens there is I tend to bend my wrist in what's called the palmar flexion. And that will actually close the face down and cause the toe to dig into the ground in front of the ball. So that's another common way that some people hit the ball fat. Okay, so I've got this setup here that's gonna help me to avoid taking the club too far inside and closing down the club face thus hitting the ball fat. And just put a stick in the ground here at approximately the same angle as my shaft at address. And I've got another stick on the ground for alignment. And now I'm just going to practice my nine o'clock position. I want to put it in a position where the toe is not pointing too far down, a little bit more up, and the shaft isn't too far behind the line. So I can just practice that a few times. When I got the feel, I'm just going to go ahead and fire. Okay, so that's a good way to practice avoiding hitting the ball fat. Once again, the two most common ways that we hit the ball fat is we're hanging back with our weight transfer. We've got to learn to transfer the weight. Or we're taking the club too far inside and closing down the face in doing so. Okay? Have fun with that one. We'll see you next time.